Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah Shaykh uh, Abdurrahman Adani Allah yarhamuhu was asked uh, If Fajr comes in and a person has janaba, meaning a person has had either sexual intercourse or they've had a wet dream. Uh, is their fasting sound now that Fajr has come in and, and they're fasting? Is their fasting sound? The Sheikh, he, responds, he responded by saying, Nam, somuhum sahih, somuhu sahih, likolihi subhanahu wa ta'ala, fal ana bashiru hunna wa abtagu. مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَكُلُوا وَاشْرُبُوا حَتَّى يَتَبَيْنَ لَكُمْ الْخَيْتِ الْأَبِيَثْ مِنَ الْخَيْتِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ ثُمَّ أَتِمُّ الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم And now uh, enjoy the sexual relations أكرمكم الله uh, and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for you and eating and drinking until the light of Fajr becomes distinguished from the evening, you know, from the darkness of the uh, of the evening. Thum atim siyam Then complete your fasting until the evening. The Sheikh he then mentions. He says, فَأَذَنَ لَهُ بِالْأَكْلِ وَالشُّرْبِ وَالْجِمَاعِ إِلَى طُلُوعِ الْفَجْرِ ومعناه ومقتضاه إذا أخر الجماع إلى قبيل الأذن الأذان أن يؤذن المؤذن أن يؤذن المؤذن ولا يزال على جنابتي ولي حديث عائشة رضي الله تعالى عنها وأم سلمة كان يدركه الفجر وهو جنوب من so the Sheikh he mentions that after the ayat he mentions that explaining the ayat he says therefore uh, Allah has made it permissible to eat and drink and have sexual relations until Fajr until the uh, you know the light uh, uh, until Fajr enters and the meaning of of this and what is included in this is that uh, if a person delays having sexual relations, meaning they have sexual relations until very close right up to the Adhan you know, right up to the time you know, it's almost there to the Adhan and then the Mu'adhan makes the Adhan and then the person is has Janaba because they had sexual relations, so now they need to ghusl. Uh, then this is uh, this does not affect their fasting. And he said, and this is in accordance with the hadith of Aisha and Um Salama, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, in which they said that uh, he used to, meaning the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, used to, uh, you know, Fajr used to come upon him and he would be junub, meaning he would have the sexual impurities upon him, meaning he needs to make ghusl uh, from having relations with his family, his wives, uh, then he would make ghusl and he would fast. So it lets us know it doesn't affect the fast. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim. Also in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, and the rajala ja'a ila nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, Yustaftihi wahiya tisma'u min waral bab. So that uh, a man came to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he asked for a fatwa from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and Aisha was behind the door. So the man couldn't see Aisha, but the man, but she was hidden from the man, and she heard the man asking for this fatwa, and that's why she's relaying re, relaying this hadith. Radi Allah ta'ala anhu majmain. Fakal. So the man said, Ya Rasulullah. Tudrikuni as salat wa ana junub afa usum. He said uh, that, O Messenger of Allah, uh, if, so, if the prayer comes in and I am junub, 
You know, I have the sexual impurities. Uh, should I uh, then uh, fast? The Prophet sallallahu said, فَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَىٰ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَأَنَا تُدْرِكُنِي الصَّلَاةِ وَأَنَا جُنُوبُ فَأُسُومُ So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, I actually, you know, uh, the time for prayer comes, you know, comes in, and I am actually junub, and then I fast. Meaning that this has happened to the Prophet ﷺ. So we see these two ahadith uh, of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ which show us that if a person is junub, or they had relations all the way up to the time of Fajr, that this does not affect their fasting. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد